All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the grand opening of Kidsville at Armstrong Park. Today marks a, mo a momentous occasion where we unveil a vibrant space dedicated to fun, laughter, and boundless imagination. We invite you to explore every corner, swing high, slide fast, get wet, and create memories that last a lifetime. Allow me to introduce you the mayor of the city of Duncanville, Barry L. Gordon. This is really a fantastic day. And one of the things that we are not doing today is telling them to be quiet. Because this is a play day, and that is a playground of par excellence. Nowhere else better in the world as far as we're concerned. We're very happy that you're here today to open Kidsville and the Splash Pad. It's a great day. I wanted to introduce some very special people to you. Our city council, all of our city council members are here. First of all, we have Mr. Greg Contreras, Mayor Pro Tem from District 5, and his wife, Karen. And then I'll go numerically from that so I don't get too out of order. And Mr. Joe Veracruz from District 1, and his wife, Janet, who is also a Duncanville Independent School District trustee. From District 2, Mr. Don McBurnett. And his very special guest, we just call her Mom, but Jan, his mom, 90 years young and always, always here for him. And from District 3, Mr. Jeremy Coons and his wife, Sarah, and kids are in there, right? <laughs> and from District 4, Karen Cherry Brown. And her significant other, Ken, we know quite well. He's quite busy today. Let's see, where did I get see? One, two. You. <laughs> and our council member at large, Demonica Gooden. And her husband, Carlos, is running around in there somewhere. Right. Oh, there he is right there with the grandkids. So what does that tell you? This is a family affair. It is something wonderful. Now I've got notes here telling about the history of this place, but if you really want to see it engraved in terms of how you can look at it and make it special type, all of these new plaques, we have plaques that are right here on the wall. These are brand new. It gives the history of the park in terms of the individuals that were involved going back to 1989. It gives the city council that was involved in that. It gives the parks board. And then it brings it up to 2018 where the current mayor of 2018, Mr. David Green, is here. And his council and former council member Stan Smith. <laughs> and former council member Grady Smithy and his wife Judy. And Sue Clark, Gail Sliger, and other members of the bond committee that were involved in putting together this particular project that you see in addition to many, many others. So it's really a wonderful day and knowing that the history of this place goes back to 1989. And talking about that, you can find out on that plaque, I really want you to take a look at the plaques that have been put up on the pump house back there because it gives a lot of detail about the original fort that was built. Thousands and thousands of hours are spent. However, with the volunteers of this city, in two weeks, volunteers built the old fort in just two weeks. And when it went together, it was called the largest volunteer fort built in the world. Are any members of that volunteer crew here today? Raise, look at them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to see what we have going on here today is just a wondrous event. In terms of what it took for us to do this, the bond committee, 19 people, in fact, the 19 people that were on the bond committee, they are listed here on one of the plaques. 
they put together the bonds that are necessary to bring our the future of our city forward. This was one of those projects. $2.25 million came out of that bond project that you, our citizens, approved in 2018 with that election. That was a $21.6 million bond project. It was approved, and this is what you see the fruition of it. Now, it took a little bit more money than that when we put together the splash pad, put together Kidsville. The total project cost of what you see here today, $3.2 million of your investment into our city. And we thank every citizen involved in that for doing that with us. One of the things that we need to mention is why do we have what we have standing behind us? Well, the fact of the matter is we went to very, I think, I think it was four town halls that I recall. I was present at every single one of them because we were told, we told the citizens that the old fort had to come down. It was built 30 years ago. It was splintery. In fact, a lot of people called it Splintersville instead of Kidsville. It was dangerous. And the parents said, I take my grandkids there, but you're not going to tear down that fort. And we said, well, it has to go. So what do you want? Well, here was what they said. Do not give us Dumbo. And do not give us Mickey Mouse. We want another fort. And what came out of that was very, very interesting. Because we found out while it was built in 1989, here's some of the comments that parents gave us. When my kid goes in there, I can't find them. Literally, the children could hide somewhere in the fort and parents couldn't find them. And number two, I'm too big to get in there. So parents were too big to get into the way the fort was constructed. And on top of that, the kids could hide in there and never come out. So that was some of the interesting things that we got in terms of feedback. And the other thing was the fort built in 1989 was not good for disabled children. So when this one, you're looking at this one, this is ADA compliant for children and parents alike. We are so proud to be able to welcome everybody to Kidsville today. And one of the things that you notice, my wife and I have been walking around here for, for some time since the, well, in fact, people found their way into this even while the fence was up. But when the fence came down, take a look. You'll see parents climbing on this thing right now. And what does that tell you? It has been built in accordance with what people asked for. Let me go in there to find my kid. Let me go and play with my child. And what we also have, we have two separate forts. We've got one for the little kids over here, and this one's for the big kids. Well, the other things that people said, I was involved in this in 1989, what are you going to do with the old wood? We gave away over 400 pieces of wood to individuals who had helped pound the old fort together. And we still have remnants of the old fort. I want you to look over here. If you see these spires right here, see those towers? There's another set of them back over here. Those towers are from the original fort. We, claim, we reclaimed them. So that history is here today and still present. So it's really a wonderful day. As I said, it's a lot of data, a lot of statistics around these plaques around here. I don't want to take up time for you to listen to that, but just understand that this is a great day for the city of Duncanville. And the individuals that really helped put it together are here with us today. And I also want to introduce, we have some very special staff people here with us today. We have our new city manager, Mr. Doug Finch. And we have, of course, Bart Stevenson, our director of Parks and Recreation. He was here to start this out. And we have Tyler Agee. And we have Danny Johnson. And these guys are running around doing their job at the moment. So we're going to let this get going pretty quick. Now, one thing I want to tell you, we're going to cut a ribbon here. The, the, chairman, the chairperson of the Parks and Recreation Board is going to come up, Beth Farrell. She's going to have a few words to say. We're going to cut a ribbon here, and then we're going over to the splash pad. And we're going to start the pumps on the splash pad. Now, let me give you just a caution here. Well, it's actually not a caution. It takes about 30 seconds for those pumps to wind up to full pressure. So usually when we do, like when we turn on the Christmas lights, we count down from five.
going to count down from 30. Okay? It just takes a few minutes for those pumps to build up, but you'll see it. The pumps will start going. Everything is going to come up to full pressure. So we're really looking forward to that. So with that, thank you very much. Oh, there's one other person I, I would like to mention, and that is my very special bride, my bride of 54 years, my wife, Marla. Always a helpmate and always a soulmate. Thank you so much, babe. With that, I want to turn this over to Beth Farrell. Beth Farrell is a chairperson of a Parks and Recreation Board. Beth? Thank you, Mayor Gordon. Um, before I begin, I'd like to recognize the other members of our park board. We have current and former members here today. Um, welcome my vice chair, Kim Malone. We have Rollo Thompson. Rogers, she's been here a long She's also a past chair. And we have Reggie Hurd from his past chair. And Ed Priest. Ed, where are you? There's Ed. Huh? And, and Janice, yes, Janice Preston. There you are. I didn't see Janice. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, so. I think you can all agree that the new Kidsville and the Splash Pad are unrivaled in design and have really given Armstrong Park a huge improvement. Um, this was an accident, took a lot of efforts by a lot of people. Uh, we've been planning this for going on six years for it to come to fruition like this. Uh, we've had a lot of meetings with the park board, a lot of meetings with council. Um, so, Dunaway and Associates is the company we ended up hiring to, to design this and that was led by Adam Brewster and Ashley Lewis of Dunaway. Are they here? Thank you Adam and Ashley, you've done an outstanding job for the residents of Duncanville. Kidsville is fantastic. And then once you get a vision for a project like this, it takes a lot of people to bring it together. <clears throat> we couldn't be prouder and more excited the way this project sprung up. Uh, from the demolition of Kidsville, which was a heartbreaker, we could tear that one down, to bringing in the new Kidsville, which the new and improved version of it. Uh, the lead contractor for the flash pad was Craftsman Commercial, Commercial Playgrounds and their headquarters in Spring, Texas, so we're using Texans. Um, yeah. Since 81, they've been doing like the industry standard and splash pads and things. And then Corey Robertson and his team, thank you for all your hard work and cleaning working through a lot of rain events, a lot of cold weather. They are determined to get Kidsville open by this spring and on schedule. And we thank you for that. I could give special thanks to Ken Whitlow. Ken. He's been the project manager for Craftsman and he's been out here from start to finish to make sure this project was done right and on time. He's here every day. And is, so the original, y'all remember the original Kidsville, that was created by Leathers, designed by Leathers. Well, we decided to do a new Kidsville, we went back to the same company so they could redesign another Kidsville in the same fashion that the old was designed. An excellent job. Their partners with T.F. Harper and creating this playground, which is worthy of the Kidsville name. And we just want to thank them for keeping the Kidsville in Kidsville. And then last but not least, it can't happen without. Oh, we have an incredible Parks and Rec staff here at Duncanville. Bart Stevenson's done wonderful. Uh, Timothy's here. He helped us get this thing off the ground. He's moved on now. Um, so, Bart listened to the residents all through the design process. He's come with great ideas. He looked at a lot. He got a grant from Texas Parks, a $750,000 grant to help us get this done. And um, especially, so Bart, you and your staff are amazing. We really want to thank Danny Johnson, who's a project manager. Danny, there he is, right up front. And I've seen Danny out here working. He's been out here all the time. Great attention to detail. 
making sure everything's done right. Um, did really well. Thank you, Danny. And then we, our assistant director is Tyler Ag. Tyler, he oversaw the maintenance crews. Thank you so much. Um, and then we had this beautiful horticulture and landscaping, and that was from our horticulture crew, and that is Sergio Molina. Who heads up, Sergio? Thank you. And then the irrigation, we got all the sprinklers in. That was done also by our horticulture crew, Francisco Bali and Darius Fuller, along with all the park maintenance team. Everybody on the park, Parks and Rec Department worked so hard to make this day happen. Um, then we went up to the camp, our recreation, uh, Angela Owens, Angela, Angie Martinez, Noel Garcia. They're our recreation team and they had a hand in all of this as well. So it's a big day for us here. It's a beautiful park. Thanks to everyone who came and thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Council. And um, that's it. All right, we're going to move into the ribbon cutting. As the mayor said, once the ribbon cutting is finished, we will mosey on over to the splash pad to start the splash pad. A couple more notes. We have free food here, free hot dogs, chips, drinks, all donated and supported by our new Joe V's. Uh, I think that we have a representative from Joe V's here. They're back here. Thank you so much for sponsoring our event and sponsoring our splash pad. Thank you. So with that, we'll move forward with uh, the cutting of the ribbon and uh, the necessary photography. It will be in place. Thank <laughs> you. 